Recording 4B. You will hear a woman talking on the radio about things for children to do during the school holidays. The school holidays are fast approaching, and I'm sure all of you parents out there are worried about how to occupy your children. Well, I have a few tips that may help keep your children entertained without spending large amounts of money. One of our biggest problems is that today's children often do not have the type of hobby that was familiar in the past, such as making their own toys. Instead, they rely on sophisticated video games to keep them amused. But children also like to feel needed, so why not give them jobs to do around the house? You may be surprised how much they will enjoy simple tasks such as washing your car. Another idea is to use this time to develop their cooking skills. Food is something we all enjoy, so why not get them to prepare some simple dishes in the kitchen? Learning to cook is a useful life skill for children to learn, and it can also keep them happy for several hours. Children also love doing arts and crafts, so why not give them the task of making presents for upcoming birthdays or celebrations? Not only will they enjoy making them, but you'll also save some money, and the family or friends who receive the gifts are sure to be delighted. A great idea to get children out of the house is to find out about how they can help in your local community. Perhaps there is a home for the elderly nearby. They are sure to welcome a visit from young people. Even a few minutes a week can brighten their day. Of course, younger children cannot do these things for very long, but older ones may find that there are ongoing projects around your neighbourhood that they can help with. These are just a few ideas, but I'm sure you can think of many more. If not, there are plenty of places to look for other suggestions. Nowadays, the first place people seem to look is the internet, which can be a good source of information. However, it does have its limits because ideas suitable for children living in the city may not translate well for children in rural areas. So, don't overlook your library. These are often filled with great ideas targeted at children in your specific area. There are a few key points to remember, however. One of the most important things is to keep your children active; otherwise, they will be sure to get bored. Also, remember that although children can be very independent, even from nine or ten years old, you should still be there to take care of them up to the age of twelve. So, don't be tempted to let older children babysit their younger siblings. This should only be done by an adult.